All right, so this is what we got. So someone is interested in the cluster. So let's um let's get this thing started up just to show this thing was working. leaks right now speed you can enter the screen setup uh, tells you what messages this thing has no headlights audio which are trips hmm. reset both of them mpgs when the oil was changed um, Temperature, trans temp, tire pressure, engine hours. Okay, uh, that's a big one there. Now, uh, I should have got something with this. Let's um, speed, speed. three mile an hour so our speedometer is coming up okay so we do have a good working speedometer and we have a shut door so I'm just gonna pull this thing back over here what we're gonna do is we are going to use alpha OBD and we're gonna change the mileage uh, because we have an interested party in the cluster um, I'm going to document the mileage that's on here basically through this video. But I'm going to take a picture um, and the hours and then write that stuff down. So if somebody wants to come hear this engine run before it's pulled, I have all the proper information. So I have OBD2 Link EX. I have a nice little laptop right here that is going to boot up. And it's going to show Alpha OBD. All right, so this is what this shows. Um, this does need updated, which I have not done yet. Now, um, oh no, it's not real. my touch screen. I have to remember where to go and uh, decide um, what to do with this here. instrument panel. I think this is it. Okay. Connect. And then up here, it'll say whether it's connected or not. Okay, so um, when everything's opened up, this is what's going to come down going to go to instrument it says disconnect connect it'll say connecting it's connected sometimes I've noticed um, I have like connection issues so what I'll do is I'll unplug the USB that I'm using here with the cable to the OBD2 and I'll close this program and turn it off and start over and sometimes it will connect but we want to go down through here instrument panel cluster Active Diagnostics, we're going to go here. This has a drop down. We're going to go Program Custom Features. No, we don't want to write a bin. Okay, right there. Enter. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to select Option. We're going to Idle Hours. Alright, see our idle hours are 733 right now. We need to change that to right here. This is what we need. Nineteen sixteen. All right, now we're going to go start. Option is currently set at seven three three. Next. 
procedure completed look. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need 642 for our drive time. Okay, so we're going to take 1642. Oh, shoot, what was it now? Okay, so um, we're going to take 1916 plus 642. Okay, so that's where that is. Okay, now we're going to go here. Okay, back into, hopefully this works, program, custom features. We're going to come back down here. Going to open this up it's going to say lifetime engine hours okay so in here what we need to write is this number here okay now we're gonna see where we're at our driving 3799 is that's what we're changing right now start see it's telling me what my total is okay which is 5715 and we want that to be 2588 so we're going to go next. Procedure complete. Assumption is currently set at 25. Okay. Now, I've noticed that you have to shut this off for this to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. It's okay. I know. Take this out. Normally, um, when I did it, I basically shut my doors. I let it go to sleep for a second, and then I started it back up. But let's see if it uh, let's see if it just worked right away, like this. to go through everything here all right there we go now we're going to do the miles okay so we have everything back together hooked up we're going to connect okay odometer correction all right so here we go now we need to have it be this and since I'm shipping this to someone, they want me to add 20 miles to it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, and we're going to go 9, 8, 7, 9, 2, 0, 9, 2, okay? Alright, and we have the 7-inch cluster. See, so we have 182, 424. I'm going to go to the 7-inch. I click Start. Turn key off for 30 seconds. And turn it on. Press OK. did its thing procedure complete turn the key off and let the car sleep for several minutes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off set our key here we're unplugging oh look at that look how quick that was 98092 <clears throat> it didn't even need to sleep that is freaking impressive so there you go that is how um basically you need to go in and change your hours of operation you have to do the math um it doesn't do the running it gets you to do the idle and then to get whatever your running hours were you have to go off of what the total was so <clears throat> that's how you get that straightened out but there we are man
So everything is done and it is ready to go. I'm gonna be pulling this thing out. Uh, I'm just gonna throw a standard one in here and that way we can at least see what's going on. I might even try to program the small EVIC, uh, the five inch, a little five inch one to the correct miles and hours um, just to show going from this back to an old one just in case, but everybody goes this direction. So that'll be the end of it here with Alpha OBD. It's done. All right, so um, I did another video of these on, on these. There is uh, four T20 Torx screws in here to remove, to be able to get the outer bezel off to remove the gauge cluster. Okay. I got that one. So we're just gonna pull down on this, pop it out. Now, down here, some of them are Torx and some of them are sevens here, I've noticed. Um, to make this easier to remove, I like to remove the steering column cover, okay? So, I'll tilt it the whole way up. On the bottom, there is two on either side that are pretty long, which is why I had this extended one here. Okay. There's three that hold this. There's one down here in the middle. We don't need to remove the lower. So hopefully I have this side unscrewed enough and it should pop right off. Okay, there we go, okay. There's our lower. <clears throat> then I'm gonna get the seven to get this one out of the way. All right, just a seven mil and a quarter drive. Hopefully we've got enough here in the camera. And um, you can see where we're at. I should be doing a POV, but I don't have that apparatus with me at the moment so i'm hoping that i can get it past these normally what i like to do is tilt this thing down and there is a plug it's over here on this side so What I did to be able to do this is sometimes you can reach down, you can push this plug and it'll wiggle out. Sometimes they're tight. Now, what I did is I reached in here and I grabbed this wire. It has a push clip down so far that holds it back in. It's, um, let me get this out and then I'll show you. And it holds it over here. This, if you're, when you're doing your install, I would definitely trim that or pop it out so that it makes it easier that you have more room because this this bouncing around in here hurts nothing that was just something that they did uh because obviously they could plug this in from the back when they installed these but here is your cluster completely removed from the unit um let's just set in our old five inch that i have from another truck that i took apart let's put this in Okay. There we go. This is a 25 inch screen. It does show that mileage that was on there. Let's start this thing up. Okay. Hold on, I wonder why parts flashing. Maybe it's because the door's open. It's different. All right, let's see. What can we do? Messages, screen setup, turn off menu. Uh, speedometer, you can do your speedometer. Uh, vehicle info. This is, should be where... All right, there's our oil pressure our idle hours, our drive hours, and that's all on the other one. 
That's, this was pulled out of a six cylinder, but it's still, look, we got low washer fluid. And everything's working the way that it should. All right, so there's the uh, removal. Install is just gonna be exactly the same. Plug it in, two bolts. Um, what I like to do when I get my cover in, this likes to sit here and move around. So I'll take a small pick and go up through this one hole, pull it forward so that I can start the screw on the other side. And, um, you know, once you get one started, the other one starts right away. And then I'll get all these other ones in and popped right in.